What's going on guys? Well, I'm ready to do the backsplash of the sink video that I just posted to my YouTube channel. This one's going to be fun because the back it has, I'll just let you look at it. It looks weird. It's got some kind of design on it. I don't know what it is. But some of it's high and some of it's low. Here's our colors we're going to be using. Kona Brown. That's a uh, dark walnut. Coarse white and black. Let me get you mounted up here on this tripod. And we'll get to it. Alright, anyway guys, I'm going to mix up my epoxy and uh, we're going to get right into it. Now this is a one-to-one -one ratio on your epoxy. You want to mix it for two minutes with your mixing paddle. If you're using a paint stick to mix it by hand, you want to mix it for about, oh, seven good minutes. You want to make sure you scrape the sides to get all that unmixed epoxy off the sides because there's going to be some epoxy that doesn't get mixed up. You're not going to be able to get 100% of it. Well, I got another one of my wife's art brushes. She is going to skin me alive. I don't know how this is going to work out with the camera sitting right in front of the work area and me standing off to the side but we're fixing to see right, I'm just gonna get it out on there Oh man, I didn't want to prime my brush yet. I wanted to get that epoxy right there off of that. I got a little epoxy on my part of my sink. I still got to pour a clear coat of all up, so I guess it really don't matter. Now you want to chop it if you can. That'll just help mix it. Make sure to take care of the sides and the top of your backsplash. And if this area around your project is clean, well, you have your little reservoir of epoxy if you need it. Let me get some color in this real quick. Start out with my Kona Brown. A little dark walnut in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some. Go ahead and put some white in there. And we're gonna top it off with a black. Now take your paint stick and just start working it from side to side. You can take your paint stick and kind of turn it sideways like this right here. And it will roll that epoxy with that color in it like a plow in the direction that you want it to go. That's just a little trick to get it where you want it. I'm 
I already see I'm going to have to have some. Don't be scared to dive in. Don't try to match. Make your backsplash match the rest of your sink perfectly because it's not going to do it. And that's not what we're going for anyway here. I don't want it to match perfect. Make sure you get some color on your sides and your top. But I'll make it run over there here in just a minute. Now, what color do I need? I need black. You want to make sure you get your the sides over here. You want to make sure you get them really good too, because that's kind of easy to leave that out. And you don't want to do that because that would look funny. Let me see. Luckily, this video here, it won't be all that long because after all, it's just a backsplash. Get some clear epoxy up there on that base of the backsplash. That looks good right there, to be quite honest with you. I think I might need a touch of this Kona Brown. Maybe a little bit up here. Sorry if my arm's in the way. A little black there. Need a little white there too to tie it all in. It don't take much white. Don't worry too much about getting uh, epoxy right along here at the 
this bend right here because you're going to pour a clear coat on it and it'll the clear coat is what's going to make it smooth so don't worry too much about doing that i'm going to do something about that white down there that's a little bit much And a little bit of this color red. I mean brown, I'm sorry. Let me look at it. Put a little bit more epoxy right here. This clear epoxy will give it a effect all in itself. Sorry if I'm in the way. Now you can take your paintbrush, get a little color on it, or you can put color down here. In front of your project on your work area and you can dip your brush into it take that brush that's got the paint on it and over here on the side you can put add some color to it like that I'll do the same thing over here on this side I think that looks fairly good to be honest with you I sure do I've got maybe a half an inch of epoxy in this mixing container and it's starting to set up and it's that's what happens if you leave it sitting in your mixing container when it's in mass like that it prematurely sets up anyway let me get a torch and torch this out camera down off of the uh, tripod and get you a close look of it. Y'all remember, sorry about the reflection, ain't nothing I can do about that right now. Well, you'll see the video. You've seen the video of the sink. If not, watch that video and you'll see how the, all this ties in. A perfect match to the sink. The sides, if you can see it, and there's color on it. Can't really see that color, but it's got plenty of color on it. Wish I could see it. 
Get this tripod out of the way. That's a good looking backsplash right there. Now tomorrow morning, when it sets up, tomorrow morning, I'll come out here, get you a shot of the whole thing as it's all tied in. Because I still have to do the last sink I poured. I've still got to do the clear coat on it and on this one. So I think I'm going to do both of them together tomorrow. I might make a video of that. And if you guys would like to see that video, let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video. And I'll make that happen. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all in. Yeah, that light, if I didn't have the reflection in it. You'd be able to see the colors good. Trust me, it's tied in good. It's tied in real good. Anyway, uh, I thank you guys for watching. If you guys get any value out of any of my videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you ain't got yourself subscribed yet, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video when I do put it out. I'm trying to get higher in the queue and every thumbs up I get, every comment, every subscription helps me out with that just a little bit more. So please leave them thumbs up and them comments. I'm trying to turn this channel into something. One day we'll all be somewhere. We'll make something out of this channel. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching, and as always, God bless. Good night.